Okay, this time we are now doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1989 uh, Classic Arcade. Let's see if there's uh, anybody um, doing a game right now. Let's see, anybody? Anybody? Anybody out there? Anybody? Anybody? Nada? 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 Okay. Well, um, so what we are going to do is we are going to just play the game myself. Um, Donatello is the character you want to do. So here we go. Let's do this. Um, 1989. Um, Turtles. Very, very classic. It's uh, Mega Man. It's not Mega Man. Um, um, let's see. Um, arcade version which is the uh, Turtles 2 classic video game from the SNES, uh, not the SNES, the Nintendo, um, original Nintendo. Um, also it is um, the pretty much the look that you get with the uh, um, Turtles after the, um, what is it, with Turtles 4. So this is the look that you get with Turtles um, for those games. So this is the the great game. If you never played it, I don't. They don't have this on the uh, classic arcade anymore. I wish they still had this up, but I was fortunate to pick it up before it before it uh, even. Um, Kate got off so that's why I have it right now and that's why I still play it. Woohoo, I've actually played this as a um, random play the other week but I did not play it all the way through so I'm going to play it all the way through right now. Um, trying to see how far and see how quickly I can do this. Bam! Oh. Ow. Oh, got the kick. Oh, what? Hey. Ow. Man, get off of me. Ah, yep, I'm back. And uh, maybe you're back. Done. No, Shredder, no. Um, I don't play GTA 5. Um, I think it's too way way over the top for all the things that it portrays. Um, just that's just my personal thoughts on the game. Um, you know, I think that there are some things you just don't need in a video game, and that portrays a lot of things. Um, not only for like a teenager like yourself, but what is Anyway, um, I just don't feel it's a it's an appropriate game for a lot of kids, and a lot of kids play it. Um, that's just my feel. Um, I I I do have GTA 4, but the reason why I have GTA 4 is because I like the swing set glitch. Um, so, and I've gotten a few achievements. I've played the game before, but man, I'm getting ripped apart right now. Early on with this game. Um, so yeah, my personal thoughts is, you know, um, make sure you play the game to the right benefits and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I kind of assume that you have GTA 5, um, when you asked me that question. So, um, yeah, uh, just be careful of the things that it suggests and stuff inside the game. Um, it, there's a lot, there's a lot into that game that could 
could really uh, mess with your mind and stuff like that. So be very careful and cautious while playing it. I, I understand that, you know, some te teenagers say, oh, you know, I'll be fine, don't worry about me, yeah. Um, but, you know, make sure that you're playing it and that you're not going to be influenced by a video game. So, just a couple of thoughts there. That's that's one of the things um, that we try to promote with positive gaming and um, hashtag positive gaming by the way um, that's one of the things that we promote with positive gaming that you um, you know play games that are gonna help you um, um, have good values and all that good stuff so uh, don't don't get into something that might might uh, make your um, make you feel different or something like that so anyway that's just my thought my thoughts to the game um, if I do this right whoa. if I do this right I can beat him pretty easily without dying oh out until he hits me with that and that dang it bulk, bulk. don't celebrate you ain't winning oh he got me there whoa oh There we go, done. Down the hood. Um, what is your favorite game um, that you've ever played? I don't know um, if I've ever asked you that question, but what is what is your favorite game? I mean, other than the uh, maybe other if you've played anything since uh, I don't know a long, long time ago. Um, I mean, I go all the way back to the original genre of games from the NES and stuff like that. So, kind of a little biased because I've been through that that um, that age, and so, what is your favorite uh, game right now, or what is your um, do you have a game that's uh, favorite from the past or? Even the present GTA series. You like the GTA series? Nice. Um, I like, like I said, I like a lot of games from from the Nintendo era and all that stuff. So, and Super Nintendo, obviously. Um, I have my my games from from there. Um, so, a lot of it's just a different game. All together, um, different games all together nowadays. Um, it's all, you know, third-person stuff. Um, not third-person, first-person shooters, third-person games. I mean, you name it, it's out there. So they've really upped the ante on games and stuff, and they don't have side scrollers like this too often anymore. I mean, it really is hard to find to find something that's old school and um, I just pick that guy against the wall oh that guy that guy fell too so yeah I'm kind of a little biased when it comes to that but Oh, oh, get off me. There we go. GTA 1 and GTA 2 I didn't like. Ooh, yeah. That's going back. And I believe that's PlayStation, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, that was 
like you know map was on the screen and all that good jazz um oh man that's that's going way back um when gta was first like that model can't remember um uh, bam i did that on purpose so i can keep those foot clan there um that was that was definitely a long time ago um pretty sure that was playstation playstation one and uh we don't even call it playstation one we just called it playstation um we didn't even call it ps um when i was growing up they call it ps4 nowadays ps3 ps2 um we didn't even call it. ow i forgot about that that was stupid that was stupid Oh man, getting lit up. Hey. Okay, I just gotta worry about you folk. Alright, there you go. Hey. Ow, ow. Get out of here. What? Alright. Ugh. Yeah, GTA uh, 1 and 2. Correct me if I'm wrong. If it if it's not the uh, if it's not that um, from the classic uh, PlayStation days, then let me know because I don't remember that. I thought it was, but I could be wrong. Oh. Out. Gotta get rid of Walk Steady. So Bebop is made easier. Ah, you still have a PS2? That's. N dude. Oh, come on. I'm hitting you with that. Yay! Man, PS2. Um, I had a bunch of friends that had that. It was, it was like Xbox versus PS2 and all that stuff. It really was. It was just... That's how it was back in those days. You know, that's where it launched the uh, competitiveness with Xbox and competitiveness with uh, um, Xbox and PlayStation. There's supposed to be like some kind of cheat here if you do it right, but I'm not going to go for it. Classic Turtles right now, man. This is... You cannot resist us. Oh. Get off me. Yeah. Hurry. I'm not hurrying right now. I'm going to do the best I can. Hey, that was cheap. I have GTA 3. Oh, yeah. Um, I think we have that somewhere on our P on our play uh, computer. Old computer somewhere. Man, that is going way back. Um, man, I remember playing that game. Uh, I got Vice City as well. I remember playing that game and um, doing the cheats so I can get that tank in the game. Oh man, that was fun times. Just going around, blasting with a tank. Um, 
don't remember if we ever beat it. I remember beating the uh, Vice City one. Vice City was pretty intense. Vice City was a good one. Yeah, Vice, uh... Vice City, that was a good one. That was like an 80s version. And the funny thing was, it's like, it wasn't as... It wasn't as bad... As the GTA of today. Because, I mean, now they portray a whole bunch of things in GTA that are... That are, I think, are way too inappropriate for a video game, but... Um... To each its own, I guess. Um, like I said, I you know I enjoy the glitches and stuff in the video game, and and that being one of them, the swing set glitch. I've done a video or or two on it. Um, oh come on! There's not even a wall there. Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy. Dang. Um, I wish I kept my Game Boy. I wish I kept my old systems because that was just that was just good quality games in those days. Oh man, the good quality games. Man, you guys, man, kids nowadays just miss out on those games. It's just, like this game right here that I'm playing, it's just like, this was fun. These games were awesome too. And it was just like, you know, have the opportunity to um, play these games was the best. And I mean, um, just, oh my gosh, give me a chance. Thank you. Eh. I gotta get that whip. So you played San Andreas when you were 10. Okay. I've never played San Andreas. Um, like I said, I played... Uh, I played... 3, Vice City, 4... Those are the three I really only played. I never played San Andreas. Never played... Um, never played the other GTAs, but I've seen GTA, the first one, and and such, and, and remember, you know, um, being it, like, on a map, and, like, and yeah, they run away. It's almost like that one game that's out on the arcade. I can't remember what it's called. Something, it's something similar to it. There you go. Ugh. Get out of here. Ow. Man, I'm getting ripped apart. There's like a, I think, a pretty much an achievement that... Hey. There we go. Pretty much I think there's an achievement like you have to die, you can't die so many times or something like that. I can't remember. Wow! Oh, nicely done. Hey, uh-uh. Okay. We're playing Turtles right now. Turtles is fun. Turtles is fun. Alright. guys. Oh, how in the world did I do that? 
And how in the world did this guy... Ow! He's still alive! When the next gens came out, everyone bought. Yeah. Um, it's usually how it, how it comes about. When the next gen... Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is... I swear, I'm not this terrible when I play this game. But today, it is terrible. There we go. Alright, so this boss... You do this almost the same thing as as uh, there's an achievement for not getting your ah dang it ah uh, there's like a way to do it I just. Hey! Uh, it's gotta, it's gotta do something with like... Come in and out like that. It's a little hard. Can't remember. Yeah. Even though I'm getting beat up, this this guy is. There's a way to do it, and you got the PS4. Nice. Um, I've got the one. Oh my gosh. Ah! There's like a certain spot where like they can't hit you. And I know that sounds weird, but Thank you. After like 50 tries, I would have needed like $50 of coins to do that. Thank you, my turtles. There it is. What system do you like to play? The old systems or the next the, the next gens? Um. That's a good question. Um, like I said, I miss playing the old stuff. I think the old stuff has better games. Um, for example, I mean, yes, the, the the new stuff you can get certain games for it. Like, for example, in Nintendo Wii, you can download classic games from the Nintendo era, but it's just not the. I, I think it's not the same. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Get off of me. Alright. Get off. Ugh. My goodness. Oh, that's bull. That's bull. Okay. Um, 
So that's kind of hard. I mean, I do like the next gen stuff. I mean, not not disrespecting what they what they are like and and how they play, but nothing comes to like the classic games of like Mario and how difficult they were. And I mean, every game is now beatable, and um, it took a while to play a video game. You know, you have to really think, um, know know what you're doing. Um, you know, I can get on the computer right now and think of a and find a strategy guide to play, um, play any of these games. So that's that's definitely the difference. I um, I I just miss the complexity of video games. Um, it's it's not they're not difficult. Um, nowadays, I mean, yes, they they can be. It, you know, Destiny's has its moments. Um, um, you know, Halo has its moments. But I mean, like I said, you can go on to any. You can go on to any um, system. Um, what is it? Online and just. Uh, And uh, you can go online and find a strategy guide to figure out how to beat a boss. And it's it takes the fun out of video games now, and it's just too easy. I I think I that's just my feel too. It's you know um, you can find a video on it, you can find um, anything on it, and so that's the thing. It's just games have gotten too easy now, whereas if you didn't know what you were doing, that's where, um, that's where you pretty much have to like play the game over and over and over again and get the feel of the game and, and, you know, oh, this is, in order for me to beat this game, I have to do this, so. And so what I'm taking this approach as, um, I'm taking this as, um, the same approach as I am with any other boss right now um, Krang is just got like the hit idea like uh, Bebop and so just like the last boss did too so the last boss had the same idea and so um, there's always like certain patterns to uh, enemies and stuff like that so Mega Man had it um, this game has it as I'm doing it right now. You just do this until the guy dies, and and that's pretty much it. I mean, and then you get the shredder, and then you got to figure out shredder. Um, shredder is a pain in the butt because you have two of them, and anyway. Classic music too. I mean, you got you miss out on the music from those games, and so it's like, um, and there's a little trick to this. The one when you get knock off that one helmet, then you know the guy to the fight. And you kind of want to fight that guy. Whoa! No! Oh! Shell Shock, you're telling me. I was like trying to avoid that like the plague. I think I found the right shredder. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Hey, what? When did you decide to join the party? Gotta knock off both helmets, that's the thing. Oh my gosh. Give me something here. Because you knock off the one, that's the ghost. And you know it's the other dude. But then when they split up like that... Oh, come on. It's usually the one that 
throws the... Oh my gosh, get out of here. There is like a strategy to this, I can't remember. It's like, you just play... Uh oh. Trying to use the same strategy on, like I did for praying on him. Oh, come on! Didn't even give me a chance. Yeah, you're born 1999, and you've missed out on some great video games. Um, missed out some awesome games. And we're talking about. I wonder if that's him. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's the one right there on the right. Ugh. No, no, it's him right here. Yay. Boom. Done. Yay. I beat a game tonight. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. 99. Um, let's see. What games were out in 99? Um, I believe that's when Dreamcast started. Um... Uh, 64 was still a big thing. No, 64 started in really 96. 97, 96. No, it's still around. It was still around. Dreamcast was the thing. Um, PlayStation was around. I believe it was 2001 when the Xbox became the thing. Ooh, July 4th? Nice! Independence Day. Cool. So you have like fireworks and everything for a birthday. Um, so that's uh, that was a good that was a good time for games. I, I grew up in the, in the 90s I was born in the 80s, so. so my first console was the Nintendo. I played um, classic computer games a long, long time ago. I played, um, I played the Atari. I played the original Sega. I mean original, original Sega. We're not talking about Sega Genesis. We're talking about original, original Sega played that, I played the Genesis, I played the Game Boy, played Game Gear, which was the Sega version of it. I mean, that was the time when Sega and Nintendo were battling each other for the best stuff. Sega Saturn was a thing. Um, Sega Saturn, um, what was it? Uh, um, what else was there around? Oh, they did, um... What was it? Nintendo tried the 3D. Do the 3D game gaming. And that was called... Oh, what was that called? Um... Oh, it was like the, uh... Um, it was like the... You actually had to put like his headset thing on and stuff. It was really cool. It was 3D great gaming and stuff like that. Um, and you had to you had to play it that way. Anywho, um, wow, these guys are good. Um, like, yeah, computer fell in the hole. Um, let's see what else was there. Oh yeah, oh wrestling, um, WWF, dude, um, one of the best video games that I've played wrestling was WCW versus NWO on the, no, on the 64. Oh my gosh, so much fun. And I remember a long, long time ago playing, um, WWF video game, um, with some kids, long, long time ago, and that was, that was hard, that was a hard game, I, Never understood the game. Huh. Anyway, um, 
There you go. I actually no. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> anyway, I finally uh, beat beat a game other than uh, other than um, what was what was going on. And so um, finally finally did it. Yay. Um, there you go. Anywho, um, <laughs> dude, that was, that was, uh, I, I remember watching WWF in the early 90s with, like, Hulk Hogan, Jake the Snake, The Undertaker was around then, oh, man, all that, that, I remember that, remember that, I vaguely remember that in my, in the, in the house I grew up in and all that stuff it was a long long time ago um anyway um that was that's it for tonight um i'm actually gonna head off for tonight get get some get some sleep get go to bed right now um it's been a long day when you run around with one-year-old uh, and and trying to catch up on some sleep and stuff like that um kind of drains you a little bit but I'm gonna try to catch up and get well rested for this next week, next full week of school. So, um, anyway, I'll be back on on Monday night from from seven to nine, I think, and um, we're gonna be playing the end the classic gaming. Um, I'm going to end it with um, more Mario Kart. So I'm gonna be playing more Mario Kart on Monday, and. Um, it's gonna be lots of fun. So um, come back, ham bacon. It was fun chatting with you today. And uh, come back and tell your friends about me. Um, it's it's always good to have more people to talk to uh, on the streams. I haven't had many people come on recently, but that's okay. Um, so we will um, hopefully see you on Monday. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, have a good night, man.